In this video, I'm going to share with you my personal top 10 sneakers from the 90s that needs to make a comeback. Now, if you are in the same uh, age bracket or generation that I am, feel free to comment down your own list, your own set of sneakers that you think needs to come back. And let's discuss. In the meantime, here's the intro. So welcome back to my channel, this is Fry. Like I said earlier, in this vlog we will talk about the sneakers from the 90s that I think needs to come back. So if you're new to the channel and you're checking my channel for the first time, welcome and I hope you consider subscribing. Please turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I put up a video. So without further ado, let's begin this top 10 style. I'll probably squeeze in some uh, honorable mentions later but on number 10 is a Reebok pair. Now since it's a bit impossible for me to show you the actual pairs, I'm going to be flashing some photos. So you know, most of the photos came from East Bay, some are from Pinterest, eBay, Amazon, the listings, you know, the OG pairs being sold there. Anyway, number 10 is the Reebok Question 2. It's an Allen Iverson model and photos for this pair is relatively hard to find. It's very rare even to see Allen Iverson actually rocking the pair. So yes, based on the name of the shoe, it's Reebok Question 2. It's the second version of the Reebok Question, which is the first sneaker that Allen Iverson wore. But if my recollections are correct, I found an article before saying Allen Iverson wasn't really a fan of the silhouette, the Question 2. Thus making it hard for anyone to find a picture of Allen Iverson rocking the pair inside the court or outside the court. Personally, it appeals to me and uh, with Allen Iverson staying with Reebok right now, I'm hoping that he'd consider to release more of his signature shoes with Reebok, including this one. So that's number 10, the Reebok question 2. Now let's move to number 9. Number 9 is the lone Converse pair here. As you know, Converse have been in the sneaker game for quite a long time now from the All-Star Chuck Taylor before. Now on number 9, we have the Converse All-Star 91 or the simply All-Star Rodman. Of course, it was worn by the worm, by the powerhouse Chicago Bulls forward Dennis Rodman. The design of the shoe, as you see in the photos, is really a representation of what Rodman was. A guy who's weird but has this very commanding presence. You see the Converse All-Star logo on the lateral side? It has this insignia or the design of the sun rays similar to the arm tattoo of Dennis Rodman and yeah most of the 90s silhouette really has this very outlandish design chunky if you will so this is at number 9 Converse All-Star 91 it is a relatively popular sneaker in the Philippine Basketball Association back then it's worn by Val David, Marlo Aquino this is the Adidas Violation. As you can see, the design is a straightforward three-stripe shoe. So you'll see the three-stripe branding from top up to the bottom, around the shoe to the middle side. This was never retro by Adidas. If I remember correctly, this came out around the same time or maybe a little earlier to the fit you wear technology worn by Anton Walker, Kobe Bryant. And I'm more of a fan of this silhouette, the Adidas Violation. For me, it's comparable with how the Mobius collection of Reebok was striking back then. The Adidas Violation has this vibe, at least for me. So that's at number 8, the Adidas Violation. At number 7 is a Reebok pair again. So this one is the Dunk Mob Ice, a signature shoe by Shaquille O'Neal. So if you've been with the channel for quite some time now, you'd know that my favorite Reebok retro pairs are the Shaq Attack and the Shaq Gnosis. So of course, should Reebok come up with another batch of retros for Shaq, this is gonna be one of those pairs that I would want to own. The Reebok Dunk Mob Ice. So like the one who wore this pair, the shoe is really a monstrous one. Similar to the All-Star 91, it has this commanding presence. Just like Shaq, of course, whenever Shaq entered the court, 
you know there's gonna be damage I mean literally and figuratively so that's my number seven the Reebok Dunk Mob Ice at number six is another pair that I think can be compared to the Reebok Kamikaze and the earlier Adidas shoe I mentioned the Adidas Violation this is a Fila pair a signature shoe by Jerry Stackhouse this is the Fila Stack 2 so can you see the trend here the Kamikaze uh, Adidas Violation and now the Fila Stack 2 at first glance it has this vibe reminiscent of the Mobius collection but Fila being Fila has this trademark colorway Fila have been a big white shoe manufacturer of course they have other colorways for their shoes but sneakers of Grant Hill, Jerry Stackhouse generally the very first colorways that will come to mind will be the white ones as far as I can remember the Stack 2 was retroed last 2013 or 2014 but it was a very limited retro it was available overseas I think only in the US so it was like a short-handed retro and I'm hoping Philly will reconsider re-releasing this one very soon so that's Fila Stack 2 for number 6. For number 5 is another Fila pair that I would want to own even when I was younger. This is the Fila Underglass. A very weird shoe to own, to be honest. Back in the 90s, there were weird designs of sneakers. The Mobius collection of Reebok, the very striking ones. And you have this batch of sneakers with very weird uppers you know you can forget about Gary Payton's the glove putting straps putting zippers the underglass is no exception just look at the design it has this shroud looking transparent rubber over cover on the on the lace part and of course the Fila branding dominantly white and yeah and the soles for me is reminiscent of the Fila Disruptor so it's very it's a very chunky shoe only it has this technology underneath, uh, probably the 2A system, that I'm hoping Fila will re-engineer and actually implement on their sneakers. So that's number 5, the Fila Underglass. Now since we just passed the number 5, uh, only 4 pairs are remaining, I would just want to share with you some of my honorable mentions. So I'll give you maybe 5 uh, names of sneakers. Just a brief description. Number five is the Nike Air Revolution. It's actually an 80 shoe, but was worn by hip hop heads. It was actually retroed back in 2012 or 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Now, on number four is the Adidas uh, Fit You Wear pair. This is the Adidas Real Deal. I understand they actually retroed this uh, around the same time, 2012, 2013. I missed on a pair, so I'm hoping Adidas would reconsider reviving it either with fit you wear technology or boost you wear technology number three was one of my grail pairs that i was able to cop before it's a nike pair this is nike the glove so and i hope nike will reconsider re-releasing it soon number two is i think the most overplayed reebok retro of all time this is the reebok question by Allen iverson but i would want reebok to implement a legitimate and working hexalite so I hope Allen Iverson together with Reebok would be able to sort things out and uh, release an actual retro with a working technology, a working hex light in it. Number one of my honorable mentions is the Reebok Instapump Shacknosis. A Shacknosis iteration is a little more uh, higher in the height and has this Instapump mechanism. So that's my honorable mentions five sneakers now let's go back to our countdown number four on number four is another Reebok sneaker this is the Reebok answer 3 now some of you may be trying to google this some websites will be telling you that the Reebok answer 3 was scheduled to be released on I think 2015 but they never dropped for some reason Reebok held on it and eventually did that push with the release I'm not really sure what happened there but yeah this is one of the more good looking Reebok answer shoe you know I'm not really a big Allen Iverson sneaker fan I like his Reebok question the answer the answer uh, 4 the answer 5 in my collection right now I have the answer 9 but the rest of his sneakers I have uh, sort of a difficult time liking the designs back in the 90s I was actually comparing it to the Team Jordans and I wasn't a fan of the Team Jordans 
So answer three, like I said, is one of the more good looking. I would want to own and, uh, and I hope Reebok would reconsider and release the answer three once and for all. Hey, wait, 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 hold up. For some reason, I wasn't able to include this one. This is number three in the list and the low Nike pair here. This is the Nike Air Flight 1. As you guys may remember, this is a Penny Hardaway sneaker and the only non-Air Jordan sneaker that Michael Jordan laced up in a game. Some of you may know the story, some of you may not. You can look it up why Michael Jordan laced it up in a game against the Orlando Magic way back. As for me, I included this because back in grade school, I was crushing on the Kamikaze, the Shaq Moses, and this one, the Air Flight one. Back then, I wasn't really paying attention on the brand. I thought they were just all manufactured by one brand. And I remember Mama buying me an imitation pair from Otto. So for all my Filipino friends who's the same age as I am, you know what Otto is, right? So yeah, that's number three, the Nike Air Flight one. And let's go back to last night's video. Now at number two is another Fila pair. Back in the 90s, I was also a big Fila fan. They like a tamer version of Reebok. Anyway, on number two is the Fila Grand Hill 4. The Fila Grand Hill 4, for me, is like the Fila Grand Hill 2 on steroids. And it has this technology, if uh, I'm not mistaken, it's still the 2A, but it resembles the Nike Air Max technology more. So yeah, the GH4 on number 2. Now, on my number one is of course a Reebok pair. On number one is the Reebok Shock Preacher. So it's another Shaquille O'Neal silhouette. And uh, I wasn't able to research about the name. But as you can see, the design of the sneaker doesn't look like it should be named Preacher. It's a huge shoe. And I would want to own a pair. It's a very outrageously designed sneaker just look at that shoe so you want a chunky shoe how chunky would you want a shoe to be look at this one now a little trivia about this pair the Reebok Shaq Preacher was actually remodeled by Swiss Beats any one of you know Swiss Beats anyway he's a music producer that was hired by Reebok uh, around 2011-2012 to be the creative director for Reebok Classics. And you know, he's the one responsible for all the retros back then. And he had this wave of Reebok Classics wherein he got inspirations from the silhouettes from the 90s. Put it in a modern tooling with a little uh, urban flavor. So, you know, the Shaq Preacher was renamed and remodeled to be the Reebok Sermon. So yeah, this is my number one, the Reebok Shaq Preacher. So, Reebok, if ever you're thinking about re-releasing this pair, please do. I need maybe a couple of pairs or three, four pairs of that to go along with my Reebok Shack Gnosis and my Reebok Shack Attack. So that's it. That's my top 10 sneakers from the 90s that needs to make a comeback. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. So if you guys have your own list, if you guys have your own uh, set of sneakers from the 90s or even from earlier than that you know 80s 70s feel free to comment down let's have a conversation below and of course please give this video a like share this with your friends so again if you're new to the channel please subscribe with notifications turned on so you'll be notified whenever i put up a video special shout out to Dead stock manila for my shirt so of course uh having this uh throwback kind of vlog i kind of figured i need to have this throwback kind of shirt the Banayad Whiskey shirt by Dead Stock Manila the first one to come up with the idea of putting this on a shirt so thank you for everyone who supported me supported the channel especially for the past week all your well wishes all your messages during the filming of this vlog we're still under the enhanced community quarantine uh, mandated by the government I hope you guys are doing good, doing fine. Please be safe. Please stay safe. Please stay indoors. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. May God bless all of you. And I'll see you on the next vlog.